Good afternoon, this is Cap with MakerFixes.com and today our fix is putting a MOSFET board on the heat bed of the Annette A8 machine. Um, it's got a, kind of a dual purpose. I sell a harness that's a, a, an approved safety harness. Uh, anybody who's got an Annette A8 has probably read those posts where the connectors, one that kind of looks like that, has burned up on the machine or lots more has burned up on the machine. And one of the reason that does that is because the Annette company is putting this wire running through here, one of these wires, I have two on mine, one of these wires running through here, and these can hold 12 amps of power. This connector is rated at 10 amps per pin. There's six pins, they only have one wire. So what I've done is simply split it. Now, to do that, you need a JST crimper and a JST connector at the end up there, which you can do, you can buy the crimpers. I sell this, so you know, buy all that if you want to do that. I'll have a listing in the eBay down below. But what the, if you want to fix it yourself, you simply add, replace those wires and put two red, two black, and double them up. That splits the amperage and over to two pins. It's six amps per thing, well below the 10 amp required. Now, in my kit to make your uh, a net safer, I also include new power a uh, new power cable made of silicon. This is 14 gauge silicon. The one that comes with it, mine just simply melted when I touch it with soldering iron. I mean instantly. It's pretty low grade stuff. And I've also included a second set of these to hook up the MOSFET board if you're installing a MOSFET. Okay. And of course I've got the extra plug you need to hook the MOSFET board up. So with my kit you get the harness plus the two sets of power wires and that. That's what you need to hook up a MOSFET. Tool-wise, as long as you're not making these yourself, to hook this up, if you have the harness already built, is what you need, a screwdriver. That's it. Okay. You'll also have to be able to get to your heat bed, which is what we're putting the monster on. Okay, and I don't have it in the machine. And my machine is, uh, well, I've seen better machines in the scrapyard. Uh, I've got it in parts over there. And, of course, the power supply from the Annette. Uh, if you look at your power supply, you'll see that there's three pins over here for positive, three for negative, and then these are for the power lines. You'll need to know that here in a few minutes. You might want to look at yours and make sure yours is the same. And this is your net motherboard that shows up on the side of the machine. Okay, that you hook all your wires up. And this is a MOSFET board. This doesn't come in my kit, but you can buy these for $10 or $12 on Amazon. I will put a link down in the description uh, so you can find one. And down here you'll see four connectors. And you will see a plug, which is where this little guy goes. We'll get to that in a minute. Now let me adjust my camera down here so you can see what I'm doing, and I'll show you how to install this. Bring it out a little bit. Bring it out a little bit. Bring it out a little bit. I got a new camera girl over here, and she's just learning this. Turning that camera down is really complicated stuff. There, that's pretty good. I'm getting a glare now. I don't understand. I don't think it's the light glare. I think it's. I'm also getting some. Interesting gestures over here. Anyway, I'm moving on before I get any further trouble. And the first step in this, what I would do, is this is going to be attached to your, well, don't look at my dirty, uh, dirty uh, heat bag. It needs cleaning. And yours won't have that pretty little thing on there. This is a thing to help things stick to it. Uh, highly recommended, by the way. Um, build tack or one of those, those are all good. And this goes on plugs in just like the original did. And you can see I've soldered my board one time. You can solder these wires if you want to avoid making a new harness. I don't like it because sometimes we have to take this apart and then you got these wire soldered here and it's kind of a pain. You need a pretty good soldering to get it on there. I've done it. That's how I did it originally when I melted my I didn't melt my connector, I melted my wires. Anyway, there you go. That's hooked up. Now off of there you're gonna have a little white wire right here. This little white wire here. This goes in the BT connection on your motherboard. That's uh, bed temperature is what BT stands for, in case you're wondering. I'm trying to get this in here right now, and it's um, being somewhat stubborn. That's what happens when you get old blind arthritis, okay? Now, when you originally hooked up your net, you hooked up the power supplies for the motherboard. When you install a MOSFET, you no longer do that. And the idea of a MOSFET is to take the power of the that runs the heat bed off of the motherboard and not heat up your motherboard with it. 
So now you're going to run your power supplies from your heat bed directly to your MOSFET. Now on your MOSFET board, you'll see uh, DC in, hotbed. Well, we're going to the hotbed. And what I do with these double wires is I send them back to back. There's one side there, like, there you go. And if you're doing this yourself now, make sure you find spade connectors with real narrow ends on here. Uh, Gardner Bender makes one. That's the ones I get mine from. Um, I also suggest highly soldering these on here. Okay, I suggest highly crimping and soldering. This makes for a better connection. Uh, and loose connections is where some of this heat gets produced. So you want to avoid loose connections wherever possible. I'm going to put two of them on the same screw. There comes the screwdriver. Remember, I said you need a screwdriver. Everybody who's got a net usually gets one of these. I don't know anybody who's never really got one. That's the net screwdriver, actually. One that they put in their machine. And then the black ones go on the other side. There is no real polarity on the motherboard, but there technically is. They got polarity listed over here. And if you look at your MOSFET board, one side says plus, one side is negative. Most of the power connectors to the heat bed are the same. So if this, if this, the, the negatives on the right hand side, it will be over here too. That's the way everyone I've seen has been wired. But there is no polarity on, on the MOSFET, at least on mine, there was no polarity mark, but that's how it goes. So. Now, the heat bed is now hooked up. So now what we have to do is install the rest of the wires. The, the, this wire here is what this tells the MOSFET to turn on and turn off and send electricity to the heat bed. So we simply take that and we hook it up where you used to hook up to your heat bed from your power lines, and there is no polarity on these. Okay, so these two little white wires. Now, some of my kits, these wires may be a different color, just the way I buy my wires. Sometimes I get colors I didn't ask for. But for this particular one, I have it in white. It's the only one's got the little dual plug on there. You can't get it wrong. So there you go. Hooks up just like that. Make sure they're good and snug. Once again, they use those narrow connectors. And you're going to take one of these sets right here. Just one of them. Don't build them up anymore. And you're going to put the black on the negative over here and the red on the positive off the MOSFET where it says DC in. You're going to tighten them down and make sure they're tight. Okay. And this is going to go right from the power supply. To the MOSFET board. So black is going to go to the negative, which is these three metal pins, and red is the, the positive, which is the three end pins, and it doesn't matter which one you pick, they're all the same. And now, when you've done this, you, now you've taken all the electricity off of your motherboard, so now you need electricity your, your motherboard. So I'm going to hook up right on the other negative connection, connection a black wire. And the other red wire goes to the, I'm going to use the first post, but as long as it goes to red, the positive, you're good. And these two wires will hook up to where it says power in. Make sure you go the, the red to the positive side. This red silicon wire. I don't put silicon on the harness. I just put silicon on these power connectors to make them nice and flexible. This 14-gauge uh, silicon wire is super flexible. It's a little bit more expensive than regular wire. But you can see, I mean, that's 14-gauge wire. If you know what 14-gauge wire is, it's usually pretty stiff. So I'm using this. So it just makes it easier to wire. So now yours will hopefully look neater. Um, there we go. On that like that, got power going here and here. This runs from... The MOSFET there, and there's your power line, your harness. Right like that. And that's where these all hook up. Heat bed hooks up to the MOSFET. MOSFET hooks up to the power supply. The power supply also has to hook up to the motherboard. And you got these little jumper cables. These can't be messed up. The, the, the temperature probe from the, from the hot heat bed to the motherboard is a three-prong. Okay. And the MOSFET is a two-prong operation okay now of course you're gonna have all these other wires in here 
from your machine. I took them out so we could see better. I hope this helps. This is Calvin Maker Fixes. Uh, like and subscribe. And if you need this MOSFET board or my kit, I will make the link to it down in the description. Uh, feel free to post. Uh, I'm not even in the video here. Look at that. Yeah, you know what? It looks better if I'm not in the video because that face is not the best looking face. So I'll talk when I'm not in the video. But uh, feel free to post questions or, 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 or contact me through my website. Uh, questions I'm willing to help or get the answer if I can. But uh, you, I hope this helps and have a great day.